Although the government has greater leeway to restrict the constitutional rights of public employees than of the general population, public school teachers don't check their rights at the schoolhouse door. If a teacher can show that he was fired at least partially because of constitutionally protected activity, is he entitled to reinstatement? That's the question in Mount Healthy City School District Board of Education versus Doyle. Fred Doyle was a non-tenured teacher for the Mount Healthy City School District, employed under a series of short-term contracts. Doyle engaged in several instances of misconduct during his employment. On one occasion, he was involved in a disruptive dispute with another teacher. On another occasion, Doyle argued with cafeteria workers over the size of his spaghetti serving. Doyle also referred to students with profanity and made an obscene gesture at two students. The final incident occurred after the principal circulated a memorandum to teachers instituting a teacher dress code. In response, Doyle telephoned a disc jockey at a local radio station about the memo. The DJ reported the new dress code on air as a news item. Subsequently, Doyle apologized to the principal and acknowledged that he should have conveyed his criticism to the school board first. A month after the dress code incident, the superintendent made his annual hiring recommendations to the school board. The superintendent recommended that Doyle and nine other teachers not be rehired. The board adopted the recommendations and declined to renew Doyle's contract. In a statement of reasons for its decision, the board cited Doyle's lack of tact in professional situations, referring specifically to the dress code incident and the obscene gesture episode. Doyle sued the board, alleging violations of his First and Fourteenth Amendment rights. After a bench trial, the district court found that Doyle's phone call to the radio station was expressive conduct protected under the First Amendment. The district court further found that because Doyle's protected conduct played a substantial part in the board's decision not to renew his contract, Doyle was entitled to reinstatement and back pay. The Sixth Circuit affirmed. The United States Supreme Court granted cert.